I came up to my uh, giant Lilacoy. that I kind of just have it growing in a big heap because I wasn't, I didn't think it was going to survive. But one of the fruits looks ready and I hope it's not over ready. Oh, it looks a little over ready, but no, maybe not. They get really soft because their skin is so thick. Let's see, it's got ooh, a little citrus there. Hey, look at this thing. It's huge, just the size of my hand. And these smell incredible. I can't even describe, well, I could kind of describe it, but I'm not going to be very creative right now, so. Yeah, look at that, it's in one piece. It's a little mushy, it's a little mushy. Critters are maybe just starting to, to bug it, but the inside's going to be good. Big seeds, great flavor, kind of mealy and kind of big seeds, but you can eat, you can eat the uh, rind, the fruit, the, 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 how can I say the white of the inside of the rind? And when it's this ripe, it's kind of like a really watery cantaloupe or something. But you can eat it. It's a, it's one of the few lilacoys that I know where you could actually eat part of the rind. as these big enormous ones. But they're so tender. Like this thing is soft. Yeah, that. See, squish, squish, squish. Yeah, almost almost a little too ripe. But I like I like ripe fruit. So uh, yeah, yum. And I show you a flower. But I don't think I have any flowers right now, but here's a green one. There's a green one in here. Whoa. Yeah. So they're obviously a lot better off when they're hanging. I think I got it. Oh, look, that one's just starting to turn color. Just starting to turn, but it's not as big. Alright. Alright, there's this thing on the cutting board. Like, all right, that's my chef's knife, right? I'm not holding it back. I'm on it, right? I'm on it. That's, what is that, 10-inch chef knife? I think it's 10. Anyway, it takes up the whole cutting board. And as you'll see, ooh, that end is mushy. Whoop. Ha, ha, ha. It looks pretty good. That's actually really good. So, of course, this is all that's all your fruit that you're going to pull your juice off of and I actually kind of invite straining or spitting out the seeds these are a much bigger seed than your regular Lequoy seed maybe you could do something with them but the flavor is awesome mix this with OJ or make a cocktail out of it it's going to blow your mind but the one thing is is this this too is edible on this on this group like over here it would be too much in fact this might even be really sweet yeah it is it tastes a little fermented but it's super sweet, even though it's all mushy and kind of like beginning to be rotten. But not totally. Yep, sweet. It just tastes like a mildly sweet, bland melon. So you get the little koi, but you also get all this food value in here with these guys. And they're pretty moderate climbers as far as like taking over a tree. Um, they don't seem to be overly aggressive, but they will, they will part dominate the tree. So yeah. And if you have any other ideas with these things, let me know. I've, I've worked with the seeds before, but when they're not soft, they're hard to, they just leave a lot of gravel. But anyway, yeah, good stuff. Give them a try.